All right, so I'm showing you how to make the concrete letters for the front of the house or the garden. They're really cute. They are very modern. I ended up spray painting mine because my house is a pretty light gray. Concrete is also a pretty light gray, so I painted mine. I would have just left in that raw concrete color. Um, it's very like industrial and gritty and very cool. So here is how you do it. Okay, so basically what you want to do is get your template. I chose this, I had it on hand, but next time I will print out the letter and that way you can just pick the font that you want and then just trace it onto your cardboard. Now you're also going to want to figure out how thick you want your concrete letter to be. So I measured out three inch strips and I only filled it about two and a half inches. And you're going to want to take your glue gun and just glue those strips onto the traced out mark that you have left of your letter. Now when you're going over the kind of like quirky parts of your letter, you're going to want to bend your strips of cardboard. You want to make them, you know, a little softer, a little bit more pliable. Uh, they will wrinkle, like if you're doing a B or an S or something like that, they will wrinkle on the curves, but you'll see later that we will smooth that out. You are then going to want to take your glue gun once everything is glued into place and just re-glue it. You want to make sure the concrete will not seep out of the edges and you can do this just by placing a double coat of glue around the edges.
And here is where we're going to smooth out the curves. Um, it's very simple. You're just going to take a piece of paper and you just want to, you want to cut it the width of your letter and you're just going to simply place it where the curves are. You don't have to worry about coating this. It will peel right off after the concrete has cured. Okay, so this is the next day. It's been 24 hours. I've already poured my concrete and once you do that, you wanna make sure you shake it about. You wanna get rid of any air bubbles. But you'll see that you know the next day, your paper and your cardboard will really just peel right off. Um, it dries very fast, so if you do it, you know you can leave it overnight. And then I put it in the sun a little bit longer, uh, probably for another day before I put my coat of spray paint on it. And here it is, I painted it a pretty blue so it would look nice against my gray house. Next time I would go even bigger. Um, this is a lot of fun and it's very easy.